Hey and welcome to Let's Fly VFR and today we're going to take the Glass Air RG for a test drive around the strip at Oceana Airport, a new, well relatively new, Orbix free airport that you can download as well. Let's go flying. Welcome to Let's Fly VFR. All in next plane 11. Props, jets and much more. All done in real world weather. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you. Well fellow pilots, welcome to Oceana. This is a new, newish airport by Orbix and it's free. So I thought one, we'd come have a look at this airport and uh, just see what it's like and compare it to the, the real thing. But more importantly today, I wanted to take us for a fly in the Glass Air. The Glass Air has two main models, 180 and 210 horsepower. Their top speeds are respectively 145 knots and 162 knots, but they both cruise around about the 137 knots at about 8,000 feet at 75%. Stalling with no flaps at VS, both about 51. Full flaps VSO at uh, 42, and their rate of climb is just enormous at 1,850 foot per minute uh, solo. Now these aircraft are very quick and uh, also they're pretty unforgiving because I killed myself twice in it yesterday so don't get slow and get carried away because the thing will kill you uh, in a, a number of videos of this aircraft uh, being flown by owners and uh, yeah they, they doesn't take very much you've got to be very respectful of this aircraft the guys that own them in the videos that I've seen basically fly them like a fighter they fly them just with their fingertips essentially there's no big movements required otherwise it bites you let's have a look let's get the weather up and then I'll put the other channel onto the um, Unicom or CTAF frequency which is 122.7 so let's do that and have a listen see what it says ORGNL information alpha there we go zero hundred Zulu weather wind calm visibility 10 sky clear temperature 1 3 it's worth noting you only ever get 10 nautical miles guys even if it's 100 arriving runway 29 departing runway 29 advise on initial contact you have alpha okay so we have alpha and we're going to be taking off and landing on runway 29 so let's just swap that over San Luis. firstly this for aeroplane is a bit of a problem child to taxi around because it does not have a steerable nose wheel so it's uh, it's brakes and it's using your rudders to an extent and this is very boring because there's no airplanes here so I'm going to get into um, overlay editor and stick some stuff here because this is really boring it's a very it seems to be quite a busy airport there are um, gliding uh, and activities, parachuting activities around here. Okay, Oceana. Glass air back taxiing and backtracking on runway 29. Okay, here we are, ready to go. Got the first stage of flaps down. Uh, everything else is in. We have the map up here now. There we go, finally. Okay. So, I'll just zoom out a bit. So, there's a bit of airspace and stuff down from here. And this runway, they request that you remain on runway heading until you hit the beach. So, provided we don't hit anything in the meantime. Now, okay. Full power, speed's alive, 
shaky they're green and let's go positive rate of climb very positive let's go gear up feet let's go for a little turn and over the sea and I think we need some ortho scenery I think because the beaches are pretty hopeless well, there's no beach it's just a line so we'll get some ortho scenery and see if that makes it better Okay, heading back down on the downwing leg. Checking location. There it is. A bit further out this time. Going good. Let's, okay, let's let it accelerate. Let's get it trimmed out. Just trying to trim it out. Let's get it at 140. That'll do. Okay, throttled back a long way. Okay, so let's just try a gentle turn. There we go. It's fairly casual, no big deal there. Just a little bit. Okay, lost a little bit of speed there. Let's head back in towards the airport area. And let's, uh, we've got a bit of altitude, let's see how it goes with a stall. So, powering back, I'm going to put a bit of back trim on it, nose up trim, if you like. We'll hold it straight. And we're coming back to 80 knots, and we're supposed to stall at about 51, from memory. So we're there, we're holding it up. It's just, whoa, it's just wallowing, full back stick. That's surprisingly nice. Surprisingly nice. Nose down, power away. We'll put the power up, not massively, we'll put the power up. Okay, we didn't lose too much in that, which is pretty impressive. Let's get some speed up. Nose down see how well it loops 140 let's pull it up not going to pull back on it hard getting a little bit of G there we go rolls over the top and but it loses a, a lot of speed doesn't it back on here a little bit okay wow okay that's pretty good and let's try a roll. Let's pitch nose up and then roll. That's full pitch deflection. I would have thought it would roll a little quicker than that, considering the performance of the aircraft and what I've seen on the videos. So that's all pretty good. Quick look out the window, keep it level. I'm going to hold it full back. I'm going to trim it all the way back. There we go. But certainly not vicious. Okay, ritualize rudder. Stick forward and back out. So um, that's pretty casual. You have to work fairly hard to get it to do that. So that's another tick in the box, I guess, for the glass air. Okay, let's go land this sucker. Uh, let's get back and get our pre-landing stuff all sorted. Into the wire, it's checking our brakes, fuel quantities, harnesses, hatches, heat and gear. First stage of flap. Second stage, we're going to do full lap. Full flaps this time. Okay. Put our nose down. Lots of drag. Lots of drag there. 80. Trying to maintain 80 knots. So we'll go nose down a bit more. And we'll trim for it. 
looking good. Turning around. Being careful on the turn because I know that's what killed me yesterday. Looking left. And it is hard to see it, but I know it's along that tree line to the left there. So it should be right. Let's get a gentle left turn happening. Eighty knots. Okay. And I'll let that come back a little. Boy, it's hard to see the runway. There's a bit of mist or something there. It's making it very difficult. And we seem to have, seem to have a little bit of side slip happening. Again, watching the speed, just keeping it in the green. As we come around. Not quite lined up yet. So we have gear down, brakes ready. And we're crabbing a little bit to the right, so that's okay. So remember, if the wind's from the right, right wing down and left rudder to keep you aligned with the runway. Being careful with the speed. It does seem to be really quick. And 60 knots over there. Power off. Oh. Again, my flaring is less than perfect. Right, rolling out nicely and brakes on okay well two landings we've survived they weren't the best of landings that's for sure so let's uh, exit flaps away and get ourselves parked up Oriana traffic Glass air clear of all runways and in one piece, which is pretty delightful in itself. I think I need to do some more flying in this. I really do like this. It's more challenging by far than anything else that I've flown. Although the Robin that I've recently done was nice to fly. If you want a challenge, I highly recommend giving this aeroplane a try. So, park brakes on. Until next time, see you again here on Let's Fly VFR. Catch you soon. Bye-bye. So what did you think of the Glass Air? I thought it was pretty good. It handles well. It's fairly aerobatic. You can certainly get it around. It is built very strongly. It will pull a lot of Gs uh, and, and be safe in the real aircraft. In a number of different versions, we have a tri gear, a tail dragger, and the retractable gear, which is the one we flew today. There's a number of different uh, liveries in there for you, so and you can also make up your own if you really want. So, what did you think? Is an aircraft you want? It's uh, certainly pretty good. Get out there and give it a fly. So, if you like, enjoyed the video today and you've stuck it through to the end and you're new here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button below there. And hit that bell if you want to catch up with new videos each week. And if you're returning, then thanks again for your support and coming back. I'll catch you again on Let's Fly VFR. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you.